everybody, it's the Law Gnome, and welcome back to yet another DCAU update. If you are new to my channel, first of all, let me just say welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. And boy, do I have an interesting one for you guys today. It's not part of the DC Universe storyline. Rather, it is from the second grouping of films that started with Batman, The Return of the Cape Crusader, featuring the late Adam West and Burt Ward. But we have been taking a look at this specific library, and we have, without a doubt, out gotten some of the most original films that I have seen specifically when it comes to DC animation. And I was very curious to see what could they possibly top after Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, I don't think they topped it, but they gave me something interesting. We got Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans. So we all know the history about this Warner Brothers animation creation. Teen Titans, of course, came out in 2003. It was a creation from Bruce Timm and his staff. It was Robin, Raven, Cyborg, Starfire, and Beast Boy with the drama of the DC animated universe with a lot of comedy and anime overtones. But overall, it was an extremely popular series and lasted a strong five seasons. But now we have Teen Titans Go, which is basically the same voice cast, but chipified slash Powerpuff Girls slash cartoon cartoon style of Teen Titans. They definitely are not the serious versions that we saw in the original creation, and I don't really know who is watching this show because I personally don't like it, but they have blown up to the point where they even got Teen Titans go to the movies. So now the two fandoms are finally about to come to a head because Teen Titans Go is about to get a wake-up call in regards to what it truly means to be a hero when a games master decides to grab Teen Titans from the multiverse and bring them all together to see who, in fact, is the strongest group of Teen Titans and the Teen Titans Go will face off against the original animated Teen Titans. So, to sum this movie all up, this is so Bad, it's awesome. I actually enjoyed myself, even though I know that this movie is without a doubt nothing special. Although I did get a great deal of Turtles Forever vibes in regards to classic 80s cartoon turtles meeting the 2003 animated turtles and seeing the whole concept of the turtles in the multiverse, and I love me a multiverse story. But it, without a doubt, had a lot of fun to be had. I enjoyed myself watching it. I had a lot of laughs. I thought that there were some really great fan shout-outs within this film. You just had to look for them. There was one particular moment in this film that just made me laugh so hard and applaud at the same time because I was just so impressed that they actually did what they did. But you do definitely have to be a fan of Teen Titans Go to get a lot of the in-jokes that are in there. And thanks to the fact that I always like to do a lot of research and see what some of these in-jokes might be, I somewhat came in prepared. I will definitely say that the highlight of this film is Kevin Michael Richardson voicing both versions of Trigon, and as someone who only recently understood who Trigon was thanks to the animated film Justice League vs. Teen Titans, I at least knew who Trigon was and what his relationship to the Teen Titans was. I am really surprised that we didn't get Deathstroke in this film because he is definitely a crucial piece of the Teen Titans world, but it was definitely fun to see the personalities clash and watch the laughs come forward, and I also really did enjoy Tara Strong in this film. I'm a a big fan of Tara Strong in general, and I do love her voicing of Raven, and to see the two Ravens together was just absolutely fun to watch, and even a little heartwarming at times. But I also thought that there were some parts of the plot that were interesting, definitely something that I didn't see coming, but in the end, it is just not the strongest one. But, if you're looking for just a movie to have fun with, and you are a fan of at least one of these Teen Titans franchises, I think that you will definitely enjoy yourself. I also have to give them props for really giving us the two styles of animation side by side and definitely showing the distinctions between the two of them. So that's it everybody. That's my review of Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans. I really hope that you guys will 
throw your comments down there and tell me what you think, because I still have to get an understanding of why Teen Titans Go is so popular. I mean, there is also one meta moment in this film that definitely spoke to me in terms of things that I truly love from my childhood getting changed and not necessarily for the better. And I think a lot of people will find that moment as well and relate to it a great deal. So once again, thank you very much for watching everybody. And I'm looking forward to the next DCAU update, which will be coming sooner than you think, because there is another movie to review as well as maybe another one before the year is over. So I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.